Hey guys, uh, Pokey here, and this is uh, my first tutorial. Uh, it's going to be on Cinema 4D and the basics of using Throuty. Now, it's not like going into like loads of depth of using it, but it's just it should help you get the basics of it, basically. So I've just uh, opened up uh, Cinema 4D and I've made a cube, and now I'm going to put in a floor as well. Now um, I'm going to put some colors on the cube. And now the first colour we put on, I'm just going to make this a green and a greyish colour. Mm. Alright, now I'm gonna, uh, whatever colour you put on first will be the inside of the cube and the second one will be the outside. But if you screw it up it doesn't matter because I think you can just switch them like that. Yeah. So, um, oh crap, what's going on here? Okay, so actually I think you can just select them like that. So anyway. Uh, now, what we're going to do is make this cube shatter and land on the floor. So, first we're going to need to give the cube uh, the properties to obey gravity and fall apart when it's on all its little p pieces. So, we're going to right click, go MoGraph Tags, and then click on Rigid Body. And this will just kind of mean that when it's broken up into all these pieces, it will fall down and it will push each other away and stuff. And then we're going to do the same thing on the floor. So right click, MoGraph Tags, and Rigid Body for that as well. So, now we've got our cube and uh, the floor which will collide together. So now what we're going to do is going to Plugins with our cube selected, Throuty, and Throuty. And then we're going to choose uh, how many pieces we want our cube to be broken up into. So I'm going to break it up into 12 pieces. And then once you've done that, you can click break now. There's some more settings here, but uh, you can play around with those at your free will. <laughs> break now. Now, as you can see, it's like breaking the cube up into loads of pieces. You can close this down now. Now, if you play it, you'll see it falls to the ground, and the cube breaks up into loads of pieces. And you can see the uh, grey colour we put on first uh, on the inside. So now as you can see it's like super slidey and the pieces just keep sliding for ages and uh, it's like it's not cracking onto ice so we want to change this so we're going to select our floor and go to rigid body in the bottom right and we're going to come down to the friction here and we're going to put this up to about uh, 0.75 and now as you see when the cube collapses it does not slide for anywhere near as long as you can see now obviously you can like make it super bouncy and stuff if you wanted to but uh, I personally don't like to you could like turn up the bounce loads and it should like yeah <laughs> it kinda gives a kind of explosion effect but uh, I'm gonna show you another way to make it explode just now so if you want to make this explode and uh, burst out in loads of different directions then uh, make a sphere and get your sphere and then come up to your sphere here in the objects tab and then cause you see there's like two little dots to the left of the click uh, the tick click the tick the little green tick there's like two little circles uh, double click the first one and double click the second one and they should both go red and the sphere should now be invisible and you can't see it and uh, the reason why it's invisible is because this is what's gonna make the cube explode and if you can see a sphere in the middle of it it looks kind of stupid and would not really work that well so uh, I'm just going to make it a bit smaller so the explosion is not as drastic and put it in roughly the centre of the cube a like this alright now we're going to give this uh, invisible sphere the same properties as our cube and the floor has so right click, my graph tags, rigid body and now the because the sphere is in the middle of the cube they're going to want to push away from each other because they shouldn't be like interlinking with each other so the sphere pushes the cube away and the cube kind of explodes now it's quite small so I'm going to make the sphere a bit bigger and it should explode better there see it kind of explodes and obviously you can make it even bigger and then the explosions will be even bigger like that so that's a pretty cool little uh, effect that you can do it's pretty simple and uh, gives a good a good look if you want something to explode. I mean, the other way you could do it is like super bounce, as I showed you a second ago. But this is a better, more controlled way of doing it. 
But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and comment. Uh, if you want me to see more tutorials, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.